This video is part of a series, and to get the most out of the training, I would recommend watching them in order. Many of the questions that you may have while watching my videos can often be answered in videos released prior. All right, in today's video, we're gonna be introducing the stay command. Remember, I do not use the word stay. Once I place a dog into a verbal commanded position, it is required that they maintain that position. <laughs> All right, and it's gonna be very simple. What we're going to do is we're gonna command her onto the position. I always start with the climb command when I'm first teaching a stay. Each climb command or each stay command rather has a different level of difficulty than the other one. So for example, the climb command for me, in my experience, is the easiest stay to teach. Then the next one would be the down. Then after that, maybe the sit. And then the stand stay or the heel stay or the center stay. They become more difficult depending on what exercise we're doing. So I always like to start with the climb stay. The higher the climb is, the easier it is for the dog to understand that that's the position you want them to maintain. So this is how I'm going to do it. And I do the same way with every single stay command that I'm teaching the dog. I place them in the position. I use my continuation marker if we're rewarding the behavior because I want them to continue the exercise. So in her case, it's going to be the yes word. Then I'm going to walk away. As long as the dog stays in the position, I'm going to reinforce it by saying yes and rewarding the dog with a piece of food. So instead of saying stay a bunch of times as I walk away, I'm gonna walk away casually or how I would if I was normally walking. And then I'm gonna go back and reward the dog by using my continuation marker. You'll see exactly what I mean. If my dog or if Harley breaks the position, I say one no, I calmly walk back to her. Jesus. She bumped the, the, the camera. I say one no, I calmly walk back to her, I grab the leash and I place her back on the climb stay. And I will do this as many times as it takes. When we're doing this, we wanna make sure that we're not yelling, we're not getting excited, we're not running towards the dog. I wanna make sure that my dog is at a clear mental state. I don't want them to be startled by what the, I'm doing. So I wanna make sure it's a very calm, relaxed training session. And that's going to help them learn more quickly. So you'll see exactly what I mean right now when I started with Harley. And I've never done a stay with her yet. So Harley, come here, baby. Harley, Harley, Harley. Yay, very nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell her Climb, then the cue, yes. So I use yes this time and not free. So if she maintains it, yes, I'm gonna reward her by using continuation marker. No. no, so there's my one no. I grab the leash, I bring her back on, good girl. Now, when the dog breaks the position and I put him back on, I don't reward him right away. I wanna wait a few seconds before I reward them like I just now did. Because if you reward them right away, some dogs will learn, break the position, yes, get back on, get a treat. Break the position, get placed back on, get a treat. So I don't, no. So I don't wanna reward them right away, meaning like right now. I wouldn't wanna reward her. Because then she might offer up the mistake of breaking the position in order to get rewarded. So you see what I'm doing? I'm saying no, as she breaks the position, calmly grabbing the leash, bringing her back on. Good girl, letting her know she's doing it correctly. If I have her staying, yes, then I can use my continuation marker and reward. No, one no, when she makes a mistake, bring her back on. Good girl, when I, no. I also like to, no. And you're gonna have it where they're gonna break a few times. And I also like to do it when I drop the leash. Yes, then I reward. Yes, no, a no can override a yes. So if you say no, if you say yes, and your dog breaks the position, don't reward them then. No. And the reason why I like to do it this way is I like the dog to learn, no, their best course of action when they break a position, yes. Oh, see, I rewarded too early. I got distracted talking, so don't, don't make that mistake. But um, I want the dog to learn when I say no, yes, their best course of action is to either stop what they're doing or go back to the previous position. Yes, good girl. So she's already starting to figure it out. Yes, no. No.
no. And you should sound like a broken record when you say no. It should sound the same just like everything else. We want our words to be as consistent as possible. Yes. Good girl. Very nice. No. Good. The most important thing, no, with dog training is clear communication as well as trust. Yes. She shouldn't be afraid of me when I say the word no. All it is, no, it's just letting her know I'm gonna come back and I'm going to place her back in the position she was just in. Yes, very nice. Yes, good girl. No. Also notice I don't repeat the word no. I don't say no, no, no a bunch of times because I want the dog to know that when I say no, I'm pinpointing a moment in time when the dog has made a mistake. If I keep saying the word, then what am I pinpointing? If the dog breaks the position and I say no, and the dog tries to correct themselves and I say no again, I'm like, well, that's incorrect, and they try this no. No, no, ah, and they become stressed out. We wanna make sure that we say it, yes, the moment they make one mistake, and then we help them fix that mistake. Yes, no. Boom, now she's starting to go back into the position. And that's exactly what we want. Good girl, very nice. Good job. Yes. That's my good sweet girl. And again, each time I walk away, no. And this is all about showing her a very, very clear picture. We got the leash on her. You get that fixed? Yes. Good girl, looks like she has a little bandana on. Or not bandana, yes, one of those little workout straps. Good girl. No. Good. Yes. Yes. Same thing with the yes when I'm walking away. I like to say yes. Then I turn and I come back and I reward the dog. I don't want to get into a habit of walking towards the dog and saying yes. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go yes because me turning then becomes the cue. I want my marker to be the indicator, yes, that the behavior is correct, and then I walk back and reward. No. All right, so she's starting to figure out that she needs to fix herself, yes, after I say the word no. And you see this isn't creating any stress, there's no confusion, there's no anxiety. Yes, she knows exactly now, not exactly, but she's getting there what I want her to do. And it's as simple as her, yes, maintaining that position. And I'm just gonna keep rewarding her for holding that position. No. Good girl. Yes. So once I have this down, and she knows that she needs to maintain this position, then I would take the stay to the next exercise, which would be the down. Once I get the down really nice, the next one I would do is the sit, so on and so forth. We want to go through each commanded exercise. And because, yes, she starts to understand the concept on the first exercise, it makes the more difficult stays easier to teach because you've already laid the foundation, yes, with the climb stay. So again, all done. All done, baby, break. Come on, come on, come on. Now you want to stay there? Come on, good girl. Look how good it works. Come on, baby. Good girl, very nice. So those are the things you wanna keep in mind with this exercise. You wanna make sure your dog knows the continuation marker. You wanna make sure you can get them back into the commanded position by using the leash. And then you wanna just be very calm, relaxed. Use, you can use whatever word you like. If you don't like to say the word no, some people say wrong, some people say incorrect, some people say um, uh-uh, or whatever it is. As long as you're consistent with that sound, then it should be pretty easy for your dog to learn what it is you want them to do. So that's going to be our stay command. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment and we'll see you on the next one.